Hi and welcome to Lines on Design. I'm Debbie Lines and I am here today with a dear friend, Mira Scott. We're at Picture This Gallery. We've got a lot to talk about. I tell you, trying to decide where we were going to do the interview today was really pretty trying because there are so many little vignettes and pods here <laughs> that have fantastic pieces of art. Talk me through this piece of art that we're sitting in front of. This piece is by an artist named uh, Terry Richard, who has lived on Hilton Head for mm -hmm. a very long time. He's one of the first people I met back in 78 when I came here, and we've been friends ever since. Uh, we reconnected recently. He's living in Charleston, mm -hmm. and we talked about doing a retrospective <sighs> and brought him in, and now we represent him on Hilton Head, which is, I think, just I'm just so pleased that we have him. Well, you, Mir, are pretty much of an icon here on Hilton Head, and Picture This, I think, is also considered one of the premier galleries, both for viewing art and also for framing. Mm -hmm. We're surrounded now by some frames, and I have to ask you about framing. What are you seeing are some of the trends in framing? What is the look? The look is very avant-garde. I'm finding, well, one of the things that I like to do with the molding is stacking. Oh. So you can put two or three different frames together and get your own unique look. Okay. I love, I love that people feel that they've got the capacity to be creative in that way rather than just picking one particular molding. Right, give me a black mold that goes around. If someone comes in and they bring a piece of artwork to you, mm -hmm. do you actually help me decide matting, framing, things like that? Are you seeing a lot of color? Are you seeing a lot of woods? I, I know in the design area I see a lot of the grays and sort of the the driftwood feels mm -hmm. kind of the rough. Are you seeing that? Or are you seeing a lot of the bronzes and more glitzy, I guess? Interestingly enough, gold is on, on the way out. Although on Hilton Head, it is still very, very popular. True. Uh, you're seeing things coming back into vogue. I've been in this business long enough that now I'm seeing <laughs> the driftwood right. that we knew oh. 30 years ago. Exactly. It's come back, but mm -hmm. it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's got a very nice finish to it. It's been upscaled. Mm -hmm. Another frame that you're seeing a big comeback with is the float frame. Now, what is that? A float frame sort of straddles the side of your, mo of your uh, artwork. It's okay. tr traditionally used with canvas. Oh, 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 okay. And you probably remember way back in the 60s, people would have like a strip of what looked like black wood. Yes. That was a type of a float frame. But now you're seeing a resurgence and umpteen choices, mm -hmm. sizes, colors, mm -hmm. uh, multiple stacks, um, just a really oh, interesting, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, we have probably 2,000 corner samples here. And, you know, it doesn't look like it, but every single tower holds 600 frames. Oh, my gosh. You're kidding. No, it doesn't. That's pretty mm -hmm. amazing. What can I expect when I walk in to picture this? I know that one thing when I walk in, it's always different. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, because it is an art gallery, we change up the artwork relatively mm -hmm. frequently. Um, we're either, we either have my artwork up or Mark Tierney's work up, mm -hmm. who's my partner, we also have guest artists that we bring in, and we are very selective about how we do this because when we do that, we want the whole gallery representing a particular artist. When we did the, the uh, retrospective right. for Terry Richard, the entire gallery was full of his work. So you really get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. It's got a museum quality. It does. And it's not, uh, you know, we put one painting up and we give it a lot of room and we put another painting up and we give it a lot of room. We don't like to put... Stack and, mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what I think I like. One of the things that's interesting, and you were telling me about this before we started, was really your um, creation or... Um, imaginative use for the gallery and I think in the next week or so you're going to be doing it with um, Kingy. Yes, yes. Um, it's a terrific event venue. Now what does that mean, event venue? You can actually have um, a dinner party here. Mm -hmm. uh, we did one, one funky little thing cool. that we did uh -huh. was um, Emery Campbell yes. does the gullet tours. Yes. I got a tour for 24 people and I thought wow what could I do that would be fun with this so I invited a bunch of people to the gallery we did um, a whole bank of tables and I did a southern champagne brunch oh yum and then everybody got on the bus mm -hmm. went on the gullet tour came back Emery was so engaging he mm -hmm. spoke to everybody for about 20-30 minutes about the old Hilton head mm -hmm. 
and he's such a treasure. Oh my gosh. And then he signed books. And that was one fun thing that we did. And I know Kinky Carpenter is a um, fashion designer that's yes. coming, and you were sharing that you're going to be having a fashion show. Yes. And just even imagining the way that this is going to flow is mm -hmm. pretty cool. We really have to wrap our heads around this uh -huh. one. This is a little bit of a different type of an event. We're emptying out the gallery, which is about 1,500 square feet. We're going to have curtains up for the back area for the, for the ladies to stage the models. Okay. I think we've got five models. We've got wow. 30 outfits. <gasps> Kingy's premiering her line in the United States here. We'll have um, the, the windows will be blacked out. We'll have it. It will be like a project runway. Oh, I mean, it's pretty exciting. It's, it really is. One of the things I didn't realize that you featured here um, was beautiful jewelry. So really, mm -hmm. your art's very diverse in in what you consider. Um, I guess wearable art too? Absolutely, everything is one of a kind, handmade. Uh, one of our designers is um, Kashmir Lodaya, mm -hmm. and we're, pa we're pairing her jewelry with Kingy's fashion designs oh. for the fashion show. I think it'll be a really nice compliment. She works in uh, dichroic glass, which has lots of bling, color, movement to it. So it's very, very pretty. Do you feel like as an artist you have um, met your match as far as, well, no, let me restate that, not met your match, but it seems like every time I come in there's something new, like I look at the jewelry and it's just a whole new process. Mm -hmm. I look at some of the artwork um, that's being featured right now. Can you mm -hmm. talk to me about some of the, pho the photographs that are up there? Because it's brand new to me. It's just something mm -hmm. I hadn't imagined. Mark was starting a new series of artwork um, and it's a, it's because of his frustration with not being out in the field mm -hmm. he was in a car a lot okay so he started developing this whole new concept it's of amazing. photographs and we thought it would pair beautifully as a backdrop for the fashion mm -hmm. show so the whole front of the gallery has about 12 2 feet by 3 feet Mm -hmm. um, photographs of his and they're they're just you know funky like the clothing funky like the jewelry and oh, I think it's, it's just a nice cool. marriage a nice combination of the three of the three so what are you doing now as far as your artwork where has um, your creativity taken you I have a hard time with that because I, I wear so many hats I'm the framer I do the design work with the clients I your structure community the events. outreach. <laughs> yeah, you're in the yeah. community. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm trying not to have so much of the volunteer work fill up my plate right mm -hmm. now because we've got so many things going on with the gallery. We have anchor events here now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? We do the um, Art Bubbly and Cake. Okay. We pair 10 celebrity artists with 10 celebrity chefs. Oh we're gosh. going into year three, and next spring we're going to premiere that in Charleston at the Gibbs Museum. Oh, my gosh. You've got to so be so proud. Be fun. It's a, it's a really fun project to work on, and you know, with these fabulous artists. Where did you grow up? Montreal. In Montreal? Yeah. And then how did you get down here? I came here in 78. I was in college. Um, I was dating somebody who wanted to come here. Okay. And um, he said, why don't you come down for a week? If you like it, you can stay. If you don't, you can go back. So I said, okay, that sounds like a plan. Came for a week. Went Stayed. home. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh -huh. And decided to invest in a restaurant and instead of what I was doing in Montreal, which was working part-time, <laughs> going to college. Well, how did you transition then from restaurateur to um, artist? Of course, to me, that's not really a stretch. Once you cook and, and art as food. Well, I didn't do any of the cooking. Okay. I helped with the setup of the restaurant, Okay. Um, picking out the furnishings, picking mm -hmm. out the, the, um, the place settings and so forth. Um, I've always been an artist. Okay. So it was very, inter you know, it was easy for me to transition to being a painter, and I've done a lot of different things. I've done etchings, I've uh, painted in watercolor, I currently work in acrylic and mixed media, lots mm -hmm. of bright colors. Oh, I saw your artwork down here, I love it. Do you Thank still you. love doing um, wildlife or, or? You know, I've, I've sort of evolved away from that in a way, although wildlife is still in my mm -hmm. paintings. And I find that my paintings now tend to be um, a storyboard, really. Oh, I love that. You know, I'm at an age where I pull from my youth into mm -hmm. my paintings. And this particular body of work I started, uh, I think, about 
14 years ago, well, my daughter's 14, 14. now, okay. and she somehow propelled me into this direction with this series of paintings I've been working on. Now, tell me a little bit, if you will, about um, the goals for the gallery here in the next, I know we've only got about a minute, the goals for the gallery here in the next year or so. Well, we're, you know, we're still doing the same thing we always do. We do a tremendous amount of uh, custom picture framing, archival mm -hmm. framing. We have um, Gicle printing mm -hmm. services available. We have restoration that. services available. It is available as an event venue if somebody mm -hmm. wanted to do something here. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of selective about what we do. Except that I can tell you this, call Mira, and where there's a will, there's a way. I mean, that's sort of a great mantra. It's mm -hmm. really fun to come to picture this. And as always, every time you walk in, there's something different to see. So Mira, thank you so much for joining us. Stay thank with you. us. We'll be right back here on Lines on Design. We are back here on Lines on Design. I am here with my friend, Brian Baltziger, who is thrilled to be here on TV with me. Uh, Ernest Lopez is also here. And Ernest is a new member of the Stonework staff. Talk to me a little bit about what he's doing here. And I have to tell you, it's absolutely fascinating. Okay. Well, uh, let me start real quick about... Uh well, I've been in a fabrication with Stoneworks for, for many years, and now I've moved into the sales department. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the challenges that I've uh, run into uh, with sales is uh, how do you get these ideas across to your clients? Uh, you're, you're looking at samples of granite, mm -hmm. uh, cabinet colors, mm -hmm. backsplash samples, but some clients just aren't able to visualize that, that end product. And you know, Brian, I feel like I'm a pretty good designer, but I still think that there are so many component pieces to all of this, so many, so many moving parts, that it can be a bit overwhelming. Definitely. Uh, some clients are, are very visual, some are not. So, uh, mm -hmm. so this is where we've come up with this, uh, these tools and skills for Ernest. Uh, he's able to help us by creating digital renderings of, of job sites. Talk to me a little bit, if you will, about Ernest's background and what he really does and how it enhances your services here. Okay. Ernest is an architectural designer. Mm -hmm. He was a, a SCAD student. Okay. And uh, we're lucky to have him. Oh, He's, yeah. uh, when you see some of these renderings, you'll, you'll really appreciate his talents. Uh, they are so lifelike of, of the actual kitchen you're thinking. It actually looks like the customer's uh, final end product kitchen even though the cabinets were just set yesterday. So All right. How does it work? Is it Are they um, computer programs? I, I guess I'd like to talk about that, but then I'd also like to know how it works practically for your client. So do you want to talk about the computer programs first? Uh, would be yeah. So what are these programs? Well, this program right here is the um, Autodesk program. Okay. Uh, it comes from the AutoCAD, mm -hmm. um, but this is a BIM product, which is building information modeling. Okay. Uh, so when you're actually um, drawing on the computer is actually creating a 3D model uh, with oh. properties and everything. And, and what does that actually look like and why is that a good thing for us? Um, <laughs> I've worked in architectural firms and engineering firms and, and different builders. Right. Um, everything, you know, we have everything to scale. Okay. We can use it so for... So to scale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to do it. And we can get uh, takeoffs, we can management. Um, you can visualize problems before they happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, for clients, like uh, here, which is great, um, a lot of people can't visualize mm -hmm. that space. People but I, I like what you say. You can, you can sort of, it's almost a prevention measure, too. You can, you can visualize problems before they happen mm -hmm. and make adjustments. Mm -hmm. And actually, you have kind of a cool example here. And I know we want to go through this, too. But you have an example of someone who had selected a stone. Right. Yeah, talk us through that, because this is really cool. And this is where this thing is worth its weight in gold. Okay, this is a, a kitchen that needed some remodeling. Uh, we took a cell phone photo, a granite sample, and a tile backsplash. And we've created... This is really cool. This is what uh, we were able to present to our client. And it's, uh, maybe Ernest has oh, it on Oh, yeah, screen, look, so. he's got it on the screen. That's, that's one of them, a very similar idea. But uh, okay. the client was able to, to, just by taking those samples, uh, Ernest can put together that, that photo. And it's so lifelike, and you, you can see how quickly he can change back and forth the materials. Well, and, and tell them about this particular client, because it was pretty interesting. This was their first choice, right? Right, that was their first choice before the renderings. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can see when you uh, 
by looking at the photo, you can see that you don't have enough contrast with the countertop and the cabinet. Mm -hmm. so, so, so go to the next yeah. one. Yeah. The fun thing with this program also, we can uh, put in lighting. So, you, you know, you're going to get the full effect of sunlight, lighting, you know, reflections. Okay. So things that you won't see on the paper, you can, it's actually. And can you change it back to the rainforest? That's uh. And are there different levels? Yeah, see, see oh. that's the, uh, the stone that they ended up, uh, that was their number one choice after the rendering. And you know, Brian, based on my experience with you all, sometimes when you go to like the rainforest or something that's a little um, out of the box, it can be pretty scary. Yeah, yeah. it'll look great. And they're like, ugh. And, uh, and also, as you know, uh, it can also, if you pick the wrong color with the wrong options, mm -hmm. uh, it can be a costly error and they can end up hating their kitchen. They right. thought that they liked all the individual parts, but uh, this well, helps. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, are there different levels that you can do with this? Yes. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not a service that we can do for each and every client. It mm -hmm. is it's time consuming, mm -hmm. but uh, the end product is, is amazing. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's also for customers that just really aren't able to, mm -hmm. to, to visualize. We'll, I mean, we want to have that as part of our customer service here. And, and talk to me about, now these are just renderings, right? Right. And, and what are these? These are, because I even like this. Yeah, this is a line drawing. Basically, I told Ernest that uh, I have a customer looking for one-by-one -one mosaic tiles with a pencil surround and okay. subway uh, backsplash surrounding that. And to a customer, that may not mean anything. anything. But uh, even just this black and white li line drawing is uh, extremely helpful in uh, it's amazing uh, understanding the, that Yeah, concept. it's amazing the magic of the computer. Let me ask you the question then, and, and for both of you, maybe this is a naive question, but how do you get all the colors and samples of the granite on the program? Do you take photos? Of yep. Oh, yeah. yeah, how does all that work? Well, we do, uh, we take pictures of the stone. Okay. Uh, high quality, of course, and we have to m pretty match them up with the lighting um, mm -hmm. because they kind of uh, tile Shift. in the renderings. Mm -hmm. um, so. so if I pick a slab out, you would actually go out and take a picture of that slab? That slab that you picked out. Okay, that's mm -hmm. real. And, and the actual tiles that I'm going to use. Yeah. Oh my. And even your cabinet colors, if we can... Uh, acquire a, a cabinet drawing from, from your cabinet person, uh -huh. we can use that to, uh, to come up with a, a very realistic looking yeah. uh, we can even drawing. We do that with your, uh, your appliances. Your oh, plumbing, really? The your, appliances? Your sinks. Everything. everything. Let me ask you a question. Does it help? Because I know one of the things that you offer that is really impressive to me is all of your staff, is, they're very talented designers. Okay, and even for a designer, I think many of us look to you as the professionals to help us really put together something that's going to not just look good, but look spectacular. And, I, and again, is that something that you can come up with maybe two plans and, and have us take a look at them and differentiate? Uh, yeah, I think that's, that's an extremely helpful thing mm -hmm. that, that uh, we're able to do. And yeah, we do offer, uh, you know, we can offer two uh, proposals to a client and say, you know, this is uh, this was your first choice. This is your second, and uh, mm -hmm. and they can. It helps them to make a decision, and it makes us. It helps us to stand apart from the crowd. Oh my gosh, it's pretty amazing. Now, from an, an architectural point of view, mm -hmm. what are you seeing as trends? All of you, really. What are you seeing as trends? What do you think is a nice look for some of the kitchens here in the Low Country? Are you seeing more center islands? Are you seeing granite up the backsplash? What are you all seeing? Well, definitely the kitchen is the focal point nowadays. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's where everybody gathers. So uh, definitely the island, um, focusing more to the living space. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everybody's, that's where everybody meets now. That's mm -hmm. where you want to throw parties or just hang out with the family. Uh, and the kitchen island, definitely you want to put a nice Is nice the place. Stone, yeah. Are you doing a lot of granite? Are you doing a lot of different stones also? And can this translate to other stones or tile as well? Uh, yes, you can use, uh, I mean, a variety of different stones. We're Here at Stoneworks, we do a lot of, uh, I've already done a, a yeah. real talk uh, with you about yeah. the, we do a lot of marble kitchens. We're, uh, I think we're, uh, we do a great job at that, and we stock a lot of marbles for it. But, yes, we had a lesson on that. It was really pretty awesome. Well, it helps. I mean, it really does. All right, let's go through some more of these things. You want to talk us through some of the cool things that this does? Okay. Uh, well, you can come with us with, uh, you know, a hand sketch. Mm -hmm. uh, some drawings. Uh, Let's actually go on oh, here and, yeah, and kind of play for a minute and show us some uh, just pretty much what you would go through. What would you be doing? Well, once I get the, the floor plan laid out, 
kind of the way we want it uh -huh. uh, and create all the cabinets and all the all the um, appliances that are, that are needed, um, I can place you anywhere on this project with a camera view. I can put you here and shoot an angle to there. Okay. And it'll automatically bring you there. Oh, this is pretty cool, you guys. Look at so this. So after that, it's just a matter of importing colors into that? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of uh, different settings we can play with. I can forth and we can change again. For example? Well, um, it's hard to show here because uh, it'll take a, a good five minute process. Okay, oh, to but actually put it together? Yeah, okay. Um, so it'll do a rendering process where I go back and forth and make sure we got the right, mm -hmm. you know, contrast and all that. Typically, does it work that you and um, f you and the client sit down first? Right. Okay, and then you go with Ernest. Right, and like I said, it's not on every project, but if, uh, if they're having trouble visualizing or if, if I if I really want their work. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, I'll, uh, I'll come to Ernest with, with an, an idea that we had talked about, but it's not, um, not set in stone yet, mm -hmm. you know. So we come to him and bring him all these samples, and he puts together something. And I, We're able to do, um, you know, material takeoffs for the client and for the sales oh. that helps us go, you know, speed up the process. So we'll, as, when, as we're creating all this, we're actually creating uh, uh, data you know, how much yeah. tile we're going to use, how much down, and all this. So it's taking square foot dimensions mm -hmm. and all that. So it's uh, not just it. to help us. It really, it, it's, it expedites or helps really simplify the entire process. As always, these are my favorite shows to do where we actually get to learn something. And I tell you what, coming to Stoneworks is well worth it. Talk to any of the salespeople here because they really know what they're doing. And this service is just priceless. I mean, it can really save you a lot of money. We appreciate it. As always, Cutting Edge, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for joining us here on Lines on Design. Have a great week. Bye-bye.